all right and we are here and we are back okay come to y'all now ask for it you're gonna get it wait for it wait for it wait for it good okay it is go time we got daddy well bad versus wild reaction review and for those who are coming into my channel y'all already know how i do you don't like my opinions you ain't gotta be here just know i'm sensitive to my con my, with my content and i'm my artist okay whether i voice my opinion or not and you not feel my shit, i don't care so sit back relax get another round whatever you need come back here and we finna get this rocking because yes i got a lot of shit to say it's going on today let's get it. we a little skippy and laggy already but guess what the night is still young <laughs> now bad versus wild Ooh we where do i start y'all saw the episode y'all saw what went down okay you got the baddies over here all these girls versus Jocelyn crew you know the wild there go Jocelyn crew okay and let me just say this all right y'all these women did not come to play i'm talking about from the ass shaking to the ass contest to the Jocelyn saying and you know how Oprah went to be like you get a car you get a car you get a car Jocelyn was on her Kurt Cobain. <laughs> who who has Kurt Cobain? Who has both Cobain? Who has Cobain? Who has Cobain? Who you got Cobain? I need Cobain. <laughs> I'm saying Cobain. So I don't get flagged by channel. Okay, now y'all know I gotta keep the PG around it, okay? And I'm gonna try to cuss as least as possible, okay? Y'all y'all heard it from me. I know that's hard to think, so I'm gonna try my hardest not to cuss on this one. Now to begin, you know Nick Cannon, the host, the host with the most, and yeah, it all started, okay, I think this baddie versus wild thing that they got going on, I'm guessing it's going to be like this person beefing with this person, and then they get their own teams, and they make their own teams, you get what I'm saying, because this started off with Natalie versus Jocelyn. And the clout that was going on, sneak dissing and all that. But I'm gonna tell y'all my end on this view. I'm gonna give y'all my view on the end, okay? It gets very interesting. So we start with the girls, okay? They in their trailers or whatever, backstage, talking it up. Natalie back there with her crew, all the baddies come out. We run this. This is very clear that the baddies was never gonna. Natalie and her crew get to go on, you know, how Natalie get, when Natalie get rumbling, she's get rumbling, okay? Anyway, you got, uh, first of all, okay, I don't understand the people that was there, like, why was they there? Okay, I understand that y'all baddies, and you supposed to have heavy hitters, I can understand why, um, I don't understand why Mariah in there, I don't understand why Scotty there. Everybody else cool, everybody else got hands, everybody else throw hands. They fights, you know? But why Mariah and why Scotty? That's what I need to know. <laughs> like, why those two? Why were they on Bad versus Wild? If them bitches ain't really got no thumpers like that, they don't be fighting like that. Oop, I cussed up this thing. <laughs> I told y'all I tried. Anyway, yeah. It was Natalie versus Jocelyn. Baddies versus the cabaret girls. And Our two team captains. Both of these. Let me tell y'all. When I say Jocelyn and her crew didn't come to play, they didn't come to play. Them bitches, every game was whooping the baddies. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I know y'all think it. Yes. And Natalie, your face, it seemed like Natalie was getting more stale and more stale. Cause look, I don't get it. Um, you know, Lemmy Pepper came out on stage, introduced they were doing this new thing, Bad versus Wild, Crew versus Crew, whoever, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, they lit. When I say they lit on the stage, everybody lit on the baddie side. 
everybody lit on the top right side. They turned up and I'm also, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Kaseki, you was acting like Krishan. I will say that. You was giving off Krishan vibes the whole episode. And then um, it got to a point where Kaseki got into it with one of the girls in the audience. I guess, I don't know if it was Glorilla people or something. But she was like, she keeps talking about my man. She keeps talking about my man. I eat, I eat, I eat, I eat. Get away from my man. <laughs> Type shit, you know? And yeah, I feel like Nick Cannon did a good job hosting this. If he gonna host every episode, Nick Cannon tell my he to put a baby in Jaws and she keep popping it. All type of shit. And yeah, it was a good show though. Glorella performed. She performed her new hit. Yeah, Glow. Y'all heard it. For those who haven't heard it, go check it out. She snapped. She killed it. She had her crew on there. Now, I didn't know that one of her backup dancers was pregnant. I guess she had a backup dancer that was on stage dancing and popping it while she was pregnant. Big props to you, because that's something that ain't easy to do. It started with Rihanna, and Rihanna, I feel like, started the trend. Because ever since, it's been these girls being pregnant and on stage shaking in from the croissants to the, <laughs> to the sexy reds, and the saga continued. Okay? Now, Girl really did her thing. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. She definitely did her thing. Nick Cannon, funny, corny, funny, and Natalie. Natalie, 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 Natalie. I'm going to try to say this without cussing. Natalie, I do not understand how you keep setting yourself up like this. I get it that you're getting so much money that you don't give a fuck. But at some point, you should start giving a fuck. Because the way that Jocelyn and the cabaret girls did you, they knew all your shit. And they put you and Scotty on blast. Because we know the only person they was talking about, you and the OnlyFans, and you with the baddies, we knew it was Scotland. Yeah. People saw the older fans. And I, and I, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed, Natalie. For you to make 10 mil a year on OnlyFans? 10 mil a year? Props to you. You get that bag. You got your branding deals and all that. And I understand that. That's why you can see Jocelyn have a little tension because Natalie is getting a way bigger bag than her. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. Natalie's not lying about that. But when it comes to who puts Zeus on between Jocelyn and the cabaret and um, baddies, I got to say neither. Because if y'all want to be technical, the one who puts Zeus on is Black China. Her and her mama. Okay? They were the first celebrities on this, that network, period. And after that, the rest came. Okay? To me, that title will have to go to Black Tide. In Tokyo. With they show that they had. Okay? Anyway, continue. You know, they call him on the stage. And another thing, Broly. I appreciate you for dressing somewhat, somewhat decent. You did have your ass hanging out, but it wasn't like just like out there, you know? <laughs> it wasn't just out there, you know? So I would say we appreciate that. They, I, I appreciate Zeus putting Rolly on some pants. Well, she ain't had no pants on. She had shorts. But I appreciate Zeus for not having Rolly with her ass out. Because after a while, we get tired of seeing that. I'm just saying. It looked good on everybody else. But Rolly. <laughs> I don't know. It feel like you were watching another Eddie Murphy movie or something. That's future. She's going to tell her how to go down the slide. You feel me? Anyway, anyway, Taseki, I don't know what you was on, but you was definitely on something. Jocelyn and them come out like they pimps of the year. Jocelyn come out with all her girls. You could tell she was swinging, banging, or something. <laughs> well, she got that. Because Jocelyn, while she walk on that stage, like that stage was hard. And can't nobody tell her shit. And she did right. She ran the stage. She ran everybody. She had the crowd. The crowd was feeling her and her girls more than they was feeling baddies. Now, it did turn sideways now, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to have to speak on it, okay? 
it did turn sideways. I feel like the second you was doing too much. They had a they had a game. Okay, the first game that they had. I think it was like the pole, something to do with the pole, and you had to dance and all that. So they all get on the the cowboy girls killed it. Okay. The only one that's on baddies that killed it was Jalen Data. Whatever her name, Jalen, or whatever her whatever her. And that's really it. Ain't nobody else really kill it on the on the on the baddie side. The Seki tried, but she down there broke the pole. And she did some shit where she opened her legs and came down. The Seki, what the f that ain't stripping. You was gonna do all that. You didn't even have to get up there. You could have let somebody shit, you should have let Mariah go up there. Her big ass damn that's gonna break the damn pole. Shook the whole damn place down there. No 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 distance to that because I don't want you to eat, okay? We get it, you eat. <laughs> but your ass should have stayed in that seat, okay? Cause I don't know what the fuck that was. That was like some that shit wasn't even nothing on P Valley. I can't even connect. <laughs> I can't even compare, okay? But they was turned. I ain't gonna even lie to you. They was definitely turned. Nick Cannon making jokes, talking about how he gonna put a baby in Jocelyn. I don't know where her nigga was at, but he ain't say nothing. <laughs> Cause Jocelyn was throwing that motherfucker, I'm just saying. And that thing was well looking now, I'm just saying. Nick Cannon told her, okay, you better stop. So I put one in you. Yeah, and that game was called Break It Off, okay? And it got intense, let me just tell you. Now, Saseki, my thing is, this is a game show. We get it that y'all big and bad, y'all baddies and all that, and you just want to throw hands and you want to fight, but everybody ain't fighting all the time. So at some point, you got to come back to real life, be a human, interact with people, make jokes, laugh, you know, kid, joke, all this shit, play. Come, come with something. Come with something more original. We don't want to see this fighting shit from you all the time. We like the personality that you have, the way you come off as a sweetheart. To me, you come off way much more of a sweetheart than your sister. And you got to keep that going for a second. Whoever in your head pumping that fuel, telling you to go ape on motherfuckers, chill out. Because we don't like bullies. We don't. That's why nobody like rolly ass. You're going to be on the same level. If you don't slow your ass now, you're going to be the most hated in Zeus. Not the most loved. And either way, you're going to get a bag. Okay? Because Roly gets a big bag off being hated. Roly is the most hated in Zeus and still gets the biggest, one of the biggest bags on the cast. No lie. Anyway, let's continue. Anyway, they was, yeah. All on stage. They doing the split. Jocelyn, look, look. This is what I'm talking about. Second. Two second. What the fuck? What is that? This ain't even P-Valley. It ain't no top. How the fuck? Two second, you damn enough to break the whole fucking stand. Ain't nothing holding the top. That shit hollow. What if you would have fell and broke ass to second? You can't be doing that, okay? Leave that to the professionals or the ones who do it. Look at Scott. Look, look at Scotty. Scotty, even Scotty and that be like, uh, second, you ain't have to do that. We could have got Jaden up here. She could have did that. Or somebody else. You should look at Mariah. Mariah over there sitting, sitting pretty. Go get Mariah to come do it. Shit. Anywho, carry on. But it was a team with the most ass and Josh Lindham hands down with the one that now Natalie y'all almost won it with Roly but that was too much ass okay don't nobody want to see it <laughs> Roly almost had it but I gotta give it to the cabaret you know cause they got some big features on there I'm just saying when I said they were throwing it I was throwing it what's the dark skinned chick on the cabaret when I say that ass had motion, it had more motion than no shit. 
It had hella motion, baby. Let me tell you, it had motion. Anyway, they did all type of challenge. They did a push up challenge. Jaden, of course, wore Jalen, of course, wore that. You know, he's the most fit, the most strongest on the whole squad of the baddies. They had a push up contest. Y'all already know she won in that. Rolly, yeah, not, uh, uh, God, but that's what I'm talking about. You see that? That thing poking out, it's like she was trying to get Nick. And Nick told her straight up, Jocelyn. Okay, yo ass keep doing that. You gonna, gonna put one in you. I ain't never had a Puerto Rican baby mama. I was told trying to find out what that's like. And again, her nigga ain't say nothing. <laughs> the same nigga that be going off on them girls. We saw you on them shows. You be right with Jocelyn, trying to swing on bitches and some more. You ain't say none of that when Nick was there. You ain't say none of that when Nick was on stage, when Nick said anything about Jocelyn or anything, okay? No cap, no shade, no none of that. I'm just saying what it is. When he when he here, it was church mouth. The nigga could have hollered in the audience. Come hey, hey. None of that. And Jocelyn looked like she was ready to give it up. No lie. He bending over and shit, and Nick smiling, they winking at each other. So, the next game come up. This is where it gets very fucking interesting. This round was called Keep to the Stack. So, they put their hands on the stacks of money. I don't know how much was in there, okay? Maybe we're going to say five, ten thousand, okay? Each stack, okay? They put their hand on the stack, and they got to tell and ask a question. And the other person cannot lie, okay? If the other person lie, they don't get to keep it. The only who tell the truth, get to keep the stack. And <laughs> why they do that? Because it was Josh. <laughs> was it Natalie first or was it Josh? I don't even remember, y'all. Y'all got to catch me up because I remember seeing parts of it. I think it was, uh, I want to say it was Jocelyn first. Yeah, it was Jocelyn first. And Jocelyn asked <laughs> How are you making all this money and you're on OnlyFans for a dollar and fifty? Scissor was with Scotty and beatboxing with your <laughs> Allegedly, okay. Now there's videos of this. Whoever got that least OnlyFan page, those who know, no. Okay. But yeah, that's what Jonathan said. She said she was on OnlyFans, huh? Scotland. And she was, Scotland was beatboxing that. <laughs> she was going all in. Okay? And that set Natalie off. Okay? Natalie is denying it the whole time. She's saying, that's a lie. That never happened. I have OnlyFans, but no, none of that never happened. First, she didn't say she had an OnlyFans. She denied the whole thing. But when Jonathan brought it up, like the whole world know. The whole world already saw it. The whole world already know. Then that's when Natalie wanna confess. Yeah, but I and then she go into another spiel. Yeah, but I make ten thousand dollars ten million dollars a year off my OnlyFans. Yup. Yada 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 what bitch, you know, making that much money. But Natalie, you just said that you didn't do that. You just said that that never happened. And we know. That you and Scotland and Scotty was popping it, busting it down and all that extra other shit. Okay? Sharing niggas, all type of that. I shit, I even heard Limit Plumber had both of y'all. But yeah, Jocelyn won that round. Okay? And it was Natalie's turn. Now, Natalie, I don't know what happened. <laughs> and what went wrong now? Cause Natalie was asking Jocelyn some personal questions. I don't know what the what the fuck the question was. They roasting, they talk about each other, they hosting and joking and all that. And basically, uh, Jocelyn saying she won that round. They did win that round. I ain't gonna even lie to you. And hold on, where was it? I think I went too far back. Where was it? Okay. Anyway, it goes to Natalie's turn. And Natalie asked a question. I think she was talking about something on the show. She was fucking and 
doing something on the behind the scenes and all that, and Jaws can just smack the shit. When I say she sucked the taste out of Nelly, she sucked the taste out of Nelly. You know one of those smacks that your mama used to give you? And she say, shut up. And smack your ass upside the head. Or something like that. It was one of those. That smack was so hard that Natalie begged back. She came back too. And when she came back too, she lost it. And then you just see all the girls rush. All the girls rush. They started fighting. I saw Tiseki had somebody in the head a lot. Jada. <laughs> Jada. Jada. Whatever. Jada. She had somebody in the headlock. She got bitches on the ground and beating up. The cabaret girls, I'm not going to lie, they getting whooped. Okay? They taking some L's, okay? You know them baddies ain't come to play, okay? They taking some L's. But something happened, okay? It's just too much fighting going on. Nick Cannon, I ain't going to lie. I looked at at one point, Nick Cannon looked like he was scared as hell. But minus all this, Jocelyn is untouched. When I mean, you see how she's standing right there. You see that? This is Jocelyn right here. You see her? She's standing there. She on her play shit. Like, I wish a bitch would touch me. I wish a mother would touch me. She ain't get touched. Not one time. She smacked Natalie. She ain't get touched. And the crazy thing about it was Tzatziki was right by her. And Mariah Lamb was right by her. And they didn't even lift a finger. They didn't even look in her direction. But all the rest of them cabaret girls, they had them on their list. And I ain't gonna lie, Tiseki was eating, but like I said, it's a place of time, girls, a place in time. Now, minus all this commotion and fighting, I see Roly, you know? We see Roly come out of nowhere, okay? Roly rushed the short girl because I, uh, apparently Natalie was on the side. Natalie said they jumping and all this extra other shit. So you see Roly just rush the cabaret side. She rushing. Like she just went these girls up. Man, why they double team Roly? I'm talking about the two short. What's her name? Spin. Spin and the other one. Man, when I say they had Roly in the. <laughs> Take a look. Take a gander. That's Roly right there. Now, Roly is only in that position because one girl got her by her leg and her legs is on her head. And while the legs is on her head, she got the wig. She got the hair. She pulling and gripping the hair. And they telling her, let the hair go. Let her go. Let her go. And the girl study saying no. And y'all know how them jobs, them cabaret girls are come. They ain't come to fucking play them. This is fight for real. I ain't see nobody get their eyes split open on Zeus. I mean, on baddies. The cabaret you did. We barely saw any blood on baddies. The cabaret you did. Okay. Shit. I say multiple seasons. Yes. Multiple seasons if you saw blood spill. Okay. They get sent in for real. But Roly you met your match with the two smallest. <laughs> when I say you ever saw a ch two chihuahuas. Attack a, a, a Roly wouldn't be a pit bull. A bulldog. I'm not talking about one of them strong face bulldog. I'm talking about when they when I say Roly was like stuck like a like a turtle in a shell. Roly was so stuck she couldn't move. And it's 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 crazy because nobody on the baddies was helping her. So I really think that's why Roly was pissed off because she didn't have nobody helping her. And these <laughs> it was so embarrassing. It was so embarrassing for Roly, but Roly, you asked for it, and that was payback. That was your payback for starting all that shit <laughs> on Baddies Eve. You and Scarface. Because you should have known coming and walking onto the set that the girls weren't really fucking with you like that anyway on your side. They already thought you was Team Scarface. You was taking up for her in a reunion and some more shit. But yeah, they when I say they 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 did that to Rolly, they definitely did that to Rolly. They started talking the plate. <laughs> Medium rare. What are you talking about? Them dogs, them cabaret girls ain't trying to play. Tiseki and Mariah run across the the, 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 stage, the stage like they don't know who to get. And Jocelyn just guiding her bitches. Go get her. Go get this one. Go get this one. Go get this one. And these bitches really going. Like when I say Jocelyn got her girls on TTG, 
She got her girls on TTG. Now Jalen or Jada, Jada, what's her name? She was throwing them too. And I don't think none of them girls want to see her. I'm just saying, because they was pretty scared. Anyway, they still arguing on the stage. Jonathan take her girls. They go backstage. Natalie and them had to recruit. Roly walk off the set. Roly so pissed off. We cut to the back. <laughs> we cut to the back. Wigs done been lost. Mariah got a wig took and somebody done threw Mariah on the ground on the cabaret girls. It's all bad. And shoot to Roly. Now Roly so pissed off. She ready to leave. She embarrassed. She mad. We get it, Roly, but she should never rush. Yo, big back ass. Rush them girls. You rush the whole side of the side that you wasn't on. Knowing that it was more on that side than it was on your side. I'm just saying. What did you expect? Scarface ain't there to help you. The just you came with don't even like you like that. What did you expect? So Rolly throwing a fit. She mad at the world. She said, let me go. Let me Let me go. No. Y'all got these back up. This is what I mean. <laughs> you grabbing cans, hitting the fucking window, gonna bust some shit, all type of shit. Then you got the lady, Mr. Cuddy Girl. I don't know how Rolly got a close relationship or they scissoring or whatever, but she got control over Rolly, and I could tell. Because it took for her to calm Rolly down. It took for her to calm Rolly down. Nobody else can calm Rolly down. It was only the lady security guard. And I think because Rolly didn't want them problems. That's a big bitch. I'm just saying. And I saw her put some up down too. Okay. For those who watch Zeus, know the security. Okay. I don't know her name. But yeah, she there for a reason. Okay. And she highly trained in that area. But Rolly was doing all that extra shit for no reason. Like, Rolly, you had it coming. You rushed them. You rushed they side. I mean, what did you expect? Did you expect for you to go over there and just beat them all up? As big as you is, like, I'm confused, Rolly. Anyway. <laughs> now, they behind stage, okay? <laughs> Why do the Jocelyn, the Jocelyn and her whole crew decide to get shirts and put them on? Now, on the shirts is the OnlyFans page with Natalie in Scotland doing a do. <laughs> When I say you can't get no worse than that, you can't get no worse than that. When I say the, the cabaret girls didn't come to play, they didn't come to play, baby. It was on and on. <laughs> on and on and on. Rolly so mad. She had to go outside. She breathing hard. She talking about she needs to smoke. She needs a smoke break. She needs a cigarette. She needs her snacks. I think she had some on her titty. I don't know if she pulled them out or what. <laughs> Hot ass mess. That's all I got to say. And yeah, that's really, I mean, they had Gorilla come out one more time on stage. They was talking about everything that went down and all that. And yeah, that was it. And I ain't gonna lie, Gorilla killed it. She did tomorrow. And you saw a couple people, you saw a lot of people in the audience that was either on shows. You saw uh, people that do uh, commentary. You saw people from YouTube. You saw a lot of people there. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm hyped to see what's going to happen on the next episode. But all in all, the Cabaret Girls took that. I hate to say it, but baddies, y'all lost that one. The Cabaret Girls definitely took that. Okay? They took that. Now, let me give y'all some advice of the day. My advice of the day is for baddies. I understand that y'all want to be bad, but she's the baddest of the baddest. And when you act like you're the baddest of the baddest and you're just bad and big enough to run up on the muscles yourself, Roly, expect the repercussions, okay? Because it's nobody's fault that your ass ran up on them like that and them little girls got your ass like that. When I say they had Roly in a thicker foe, it was some WWE. <laughs> you ever saw a fucking hippo get stuck in something? That's what it looked like. It looked like Rolly was a, 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 a 
a, a deer or something like stuck in a gate or or like a hippo stuck in something like trying to wiggle its way out. They served their ass on a platter. I didn't see too much for Saseki, but Saseki was, I will say that she was beating some shit up. Now, we don't know what's going to happen on the episode, but y'all comment on y'all predictions, okay? Is it going to still be Joss on them? Is they doing another thing? Or is it going to be a whole nother, a whole nother crew? Like, I don't know, okay? But all ends, it was a good episode, okay? And that's it. That's my review. <laughs> A bad versus wild. I give it to Jocelyn crew. I give it to the cabaret girls. Jocelyn said she made Zeus. We just gonna go with what Jocelyn said because she took that episode. No lie. Even though she was yelling through the crowd, you got Cobain? You got Cobain? Who got the Cobain? I need the Cobain. <laughs> this shit was entertainment. There wasn't one moment where I didn't laugh. And the person I was laughing at more that whole episode was Jocelyn. She has the. <laughs> when I say, and then the rolly part. Did y'all see when she went up? <laughs> when she was making fun of rolly, when rolly was sitting on the couch talking shit. Big bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that shit had me on the fucking floor, rolly. Anyway. For those who didn't see it, go check it out. Bad versus Wild on Zeus. And I'll get you a subscription now. Mr. Mask out. Until the next one. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. <laughs>